Oh, hey guys, welcome back to another Swiss 001 video. Now, today we're back at Area 51. Beautiful place, beautiful alien tower as well. What is this? Honestly, I, I have honestly not managed to figure out what that is. But as you can clearly tell, this is a normal airport. We have this United 747, just whatever. We have a helicopter on a plane ramp. Totally. Thank you for your servers what the hell all right so what we all know obviously just by well looking at this the entonov i mean thikonov has six engines who needs those six engines why don't we just use two or one so yes we're gonna find that out today let's just casually take off with all six engines this should work because obviously the area 51 runways are kind of long enough so this will be no problem just imagine if i overran already okay that was a mild tail strike but we took off and here we have a helicopter just taxiing along here we are back let's actually go ahead and disable two of the engines so we're gonna fail one and six the outer engines there we go so yes but as we can kind of tell by the particles the outer engines are not running so yeah let's go ahead and take off full power as always i speculate that we could already run into some issues but well the idea is multiple engines are not that economical and not as efficient as two big engines so yeah antonov decided to put three smaller engines instead of two thick engines on that plane oh we're actually kind of running into some issues but we might be able to rotate there we go but the takeoff run took a lot longer this time and we were not far from running over and the instruments are kind of broken as well that's kind of weird so we're trying to climb with 1000 feet per minute and we're and we're barely gaining speed so yes you can definitely feel that the power is a lot less this time I mean, this is kind of why the A340 failed. Multiple engines are just not efficient enough. So yeah, let's do this step by step. Removing the outer engine and one of the... Now I'm going to turn this plane into a TriStar jet. So only three engines are running. As you can see again by the particles, we have this one, this one, and this one running. Let's go ahead and take off. I hope we don't run off the runway. <laughs> we might actually run off the side, so we have to look out. Also, how is there so much traffic here now? <laughs> okay, full power. I don't know if the parking brake is set, but this is not moving. So we're actually running to the side, and there was someone trying to land there. I'm, I'm sorry. You can always go around. And we are barely gaining any speed. Okay, we are back on the runway. 100 knots. I think this is looking not too bad. We might make it. We are going to run over Groom Lake, though. We're just no problem. And we just took off by that. Wow, gear up. So yeah, this is actually not counted as a runway at Area 51. But also, if you look on Google Maps, you can kind of see that this is some kind of extension that is not in use. When we start using only two engines, we're going to get in trouble. So yeah, now it's even harder to gain speed. We're barely climbing. That is 500 feet per minute, which is not much. But yeah, some instruments are still broken for some reason. I don't know why. That was kind of a successful takeoff. I mean, I mean, we're at 120 knots, which is not that good good and we're probably about to stall out now we're gonna take this to another level get off your 747 now let's see is there a difference between running the outer engines and the inner two engines so let's actually only run the outer two engines okay now only the outer engines are running okay parking brake off and the good thing is that we're not gonna steer off the runway which is already a good point again we can kind of overrun through the whole lake basically all right we're about to hit 100 knots now surprisingly the antonov is a really thick plane we all know that surprisingly its required takeoff run is not like too much okay we're actually about to run over why are the speed brakes out okay nose gear is up 
No tail strike even. There we go. We just took off with two engines on this Antonov 225. And we're sinking, and we're sinking, and we're sinking. I'm pretty sure you can't really climb to a high altitude with this Antonov right now. Well, because the Antonov 225 is definitely a Russian spy plane, you can also use basic hacks and fly to a normal cruise altitude. Now we can simply fly the plane to our destination. Even with two engines, isn't that great? Now the next thing that I'm gonna do is actually operating this plane without engines. Now, many people might ask, well, how is that possible? I know, let's turn them all off. Okay, all the engines are turned off completely. Now we're gonna put this Antonov on a Boeing 747-100. And now we can simply take off. Let me show you how that works. All right, full power take off. Let's put the flaps out as well. I mean, at least currently we have four engines. We're kind of having some tail strike issues, but we're gonna fix that soon. All right, Antonov, are you ready for takeoff? There we go. Rotate, let's not crash. We might want to avoid the other hangars. A few moments later. I mean, we were off the ground for a second. So, all right. Thanks for watching this video today. As always, leave a like, follow me on Instagram at swiss001yt. And I'll see you tomorrow as always. Good night.